Now, finally, we will discuss some uh, treatment options available for the toxoplasmosis. In this, we will talk about the infection in immunocompetent patient and how we can treat them. Primary prophylaxis, long-term maintenance therapy and prevention. Treatment is uh, of the congenital infection. We treat it by the daily oral pyrimethamine 1 milligram per kilogram. So congenital infection, which is present in the newborn as a result of vertical transmission from the mother to the baby, is treated by pyrimethamine 1 milligram per kilogram of the body weight. Sulfadiazine with folinic acid based on features prednisone can be given. Spiramycin in early pregnancy and then prenatal antibiotic therapy if no termination of pregnancy is done. So these are some treatment options for the newborn and before the birth in the pregnancy if there is infection present. Those with lymph adenopathy, how we treat those patients, usually they require no specific therapy. Patient with ocular ox, uh, eye involvement due to toxoplasmosis, again pyrimethamine plus sulfadiazine or clindamycin. Sometimes prednisone is given. Primary prophylaxis, patients with AIDS treated for acute toxoplasmosis. Use of uh, ART prophylactic monotherapy is insufficient. CD4 plus T lymphocyte count of less than 100 needs the prophylactic treatment. Trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole. Alternative given is Dapsone pyrimethamine. So prophylactic therapy is uh, trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole. If the lymphocyte CD4 count is less than 100 per microliter in patients with AIDS. Discontinuing primary prophylaxis. Uh, in patients who respond to CART or those whose CD4 count is now more than 200 for three months, we should discontinue the prophylactic therapy. Discontinuation reduce the pill burden. Combination therapy with pyrimethamine, sulfadiazine, and leucovorate. Alternative to sulfadiazine is clindamycin. So if you see, these are the main treatment options. We have pyramethamine, we have uh, sulfadiazine, clindamycin. As a prophylactic, we have uh, trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole. So different drugs can be used for the treatment. Long-term maintenance therapy. Patients receiving secondary prophylaxis, low risk for recurrence is there. Individuals with HIV infection, CD4 count less than more than 200 for six months after CART. Secondary prophylaxis reintroduce if the CD4 count is less than 200. So if the CD4 count increases above 200, we stop the, uh, the primary prophylaxis. But again, if it raised uh, or if it's less than 200, we again start the secondary prophylaxis. Now, prevention of the patient, we have counseling regarding sources of toxoplasma infection. 
using properly cooked meat, avoidance of oocyst contaminated material, hands thoroughly washed, raw shellfish is a risk factor, cat litter to be cleaned daily, blood before transfusion be screened. So all these methods can be used as a preventive measures. Washing hands because we can it they can get contaminated with the cat litter, and then washing the fruits, vegetable, taking proper care of our hygiene, and then washing hands thoroughly. Uh, blood should be tra uh, screened before transfusion. All these measures can prevent the toxoplasmosis, especially very very dangerous toxoplasmosis if the it can cause congenital infection, which is as a result of vertical transmission from the mother to the newborn babies. And then it can cause serious implications like encephalitis and pneumonitis and cardiomyopathy, chorioretinitis, all these complications can occur. So it needs to be properly handled and managed. So that concludes our topic of toxoplasmosis, which is the infection caused by an obligate intracellular parasite known as toxoplasma gondii, which have sexual cycle and then have asexual cycle. Cysts are produced, ingestion of cysts occur, and then the uh, different complications can occur. A acute infections are usually asymptomatic. Chronic infections can occur as a result of persistence of cysts and then chronic infections can cause so many different complications. Uh, consequences are different depending on patient is immunocompetent or immunocompromised. Immunocompetent may be asymptomatic, diagnosis difficult, Compromise are uh, usually the patients who leads to the chronic infections and complications. So that concludes our topic of toxoplasmosis. Thank you for watching scardia.com.